take my money. She's nice. She's real nice. Do you have a bit of a surprise coming at 10 o'clock today? Better than a John Deere. It's arrived in the yard. Proper dairy farmer's cab. Last little bit, pushed up for the morning. Put the meal in there, ready for Luke to go over the road and then start loading. You probably can't see anything because it's quite dark. 20 past six in the morning. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometime. We do the Sunday video today. We are doing it. We are four days behind, five days behind, but I wanted to do it. Today's Monday, we're going to do it last Thursday. But obviously, Dad's been ill a little bit, so I know we're delayed, but life happens. And what did I pick up the other day? Drum roll, please. <laughs> muck spreader. It's a bunning muck spreader, the ones that we love. Oh, that a little bit better. They're class muck spreaders. I do know I should switch the back end around because when I put the lever down, the bed goes the wrong way. I, Push them up to the front, and when obviously we want it to go into the back to the big rotors. Sort that out, and then we'll discuss what we're doing. Right, first thing we're going to load her up because there's no point talking too much. Mm. Dark this morning. We're actually going to start over the road, but I'm going to start here, just tidy the front up, um, just whilst the lads over the road get ready. Kieran's already gone. So for 20 to 6 this morning, going to get good on him. <sighs> Great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SO Show. <laughs> Bring the band in. Go for this load is on. The sun is trying to come out. Pray for Tom. Load up enough, not mega high. You can always put more on it, but my dad never likes to load it up to to the nines to be fair to him. God, there's so much crap in this bloody tractor. Um, yeah. I'll get a couple of loads out and then we'll have a bit of a chat. I do have a bit of a surprise coming at 10 o'clock today. A bit of a surprise. I need to remember how to do this. We're going, 100 horsepower spreading. Yo and me friend, that Wells Farmer. Devastating when I see the spreading with this little horsepower. like the midden goes back at the most at the start. You see we've got some mushrooms growing. So this is all the separated stuff. Obviously it has rained on it a little bit, but this will be fan dabby dozy. You can see all mushrooms there as well, which is good. First load I did, I think I was in too slow a gear. So I put it on a bit too thick, but yeah, your first two loads, you're kind of learning where, where to be. I'm walking a bit rubbish, because I did 10K yes. No, I didn't do. I did half a marathon yesterday, because I missed a great north run that I was meant to do. So I thought, I'm definitely going to do it. So I did. A week late, <sighs> it's like stretched for two minutes, well probably five minutes, just me back, because I can't get a sore back sometimes, feeling it. Second day doms, if you know, you know. What I'm doing is just trying to do here now, because Ballon Road obviously we all know is a mad busy road, so if I get this done early, well I'll get a few loads done early, it's quieter in the morning, but by eight o'clock it's near impossible to get through it. So uh, I'll go over the road, but we don't have to cross the road as much. Get as much out as possible, and then we'll get back to it. And if we've got to cross people, we've got to cross people. Yeah, it'll be a pain in the arse sometimes. Bit of a dip down here, but I can't see it. You can see it coming out. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Revs up to 1,000, we're on 1,000 PTO. You can really see this tractor starts to know about it sometimes. Heavy. So much rays all the way to where the um, drums are, or the augers, where the spinny things are. And uh, just that pulls it, pulls it the back end. It's real they're hard work to pull really, especially with 100 horsepower. It's doing alright I think. Pulling it. That's the main thing, isn't it? It's a bit too thick on here as well. Doesn't want to be as thick on there. Because we turn the corner and the upper gear. Watch out! Emptying it. Yep. So we knew it was going to rain, and the rain has come, and it's up three loads, and it's lashing it down. 
I want to show you the back of the spreader as well because it had string on before I even started I make sure there's no string on just because I can't be asked when I give it back to take all the string off so we make sure it's clean as anything the muck anyway it's called clean muck so you're not having rubbish in it there might be the odd stone in it because of uh, the clay that we dug out for underneath the pile when we dug it out we chucked it in there so we're just going to spread it and hopefully it gets rid of it I didn't want to make another pile of clay somewhere right get some loads done before the busy road gets busy it's getting busier now just didn't need this rain today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow is going to wash it down. Got to love it for that water. God, that's raining half, isn't it? Okay, all sick load load up. That's not too bad, it's half eight. And um, this was in the muck, so we don't want that to go in the muck. We try and make sure nothing like that goes into the muck because it just makes a mess for chopping. It makes life hard work later on. Someone just mentioned, I put it on my Instagram, someone just mentioned about the park benches. They are from the farm shop, the viewing area. And they've just gone knackered, but one or two went knackered. And we're just like, all right, get rid of them all. If one or two go knackered, they're all going to be knackered. Get rid of them and start again next year. Not too bad. Good lot of load. Just spoke to Kieran then. He's just starting over the road now, which is good. And I'm going to park up, have a bit of breakfast. And then I'll... what I was saying, the road gets so busy, it's coming back. It's not going across. That way's easy. This way's hard because of the hedges. Saw my dad in the house. Did mention about how much muck I've got on. You must have 12 ton on there. Yeah, probably. Hello. Proper dairy farmer's cab. So it's damp enough for that in the gateway, but the actual field travelled really well. I thought I'd get another load on, but that's it. Six loads, happy with that, it's about 11 acre field, so around the two acres per load, which I don't think is too bad. If that's 12 tonne, that means about six tonne per acre. Absolutely lapping it down. Gary's loaded up, Kieran's got his John Deere, finally here about half nine, so because the JCB's just not running 100%, uh, so we've got Mark, Max coming to have a look at that. So you're just going to load me up, I'm going to spread, I'm going to spread down there, you can spread here. I'm going to leave this uncharged because I'm going to charge it up to show you the surprise I've got coming very, very soon. It's a big JCB. Tell you what, she knows about it, the speed doesn't work. That's meant to be a thousand reps, we're nearly empty. She definitely knows about it. The more empty she gets, the more reps she's showing, which is good. The joys of having a hundred horsepower by a tractor, with no suspension. No idea. And a big spreader on the back. This muck is beautiful. It's like thick, obviously, because it's been undercover. No. It's so much drier than at home. Really, really nice stuff. That'll do me, I think. It feels heavier on the track to this. I really wish shake this tash off and pull it up by the end of the day. Don't like it, I've had enough. That's where the clip is. We took the guard off the clippers and Joe was like, no, I can't do it. I was like, no, I crack on. Because anyway, it's drier, it's heavier because you can stack it. And I can feel it in this track go a lot. Like it was dying before. I'll show you, I forgot the video when we first started. You've seen the last little clip that we were doing. It felt like it, you can feel it. So um, I don't want to stack it too high on this. Well, it's heavy. So at 900, we didn't start at 1,000. Hold on, right to the bottom. 900 still, there we go, we're going up again. Like, she knows it's happening, she's, she's pulling, she's going. I think what's happening is all the weight's getting pushed to the back. On the back wheels, it's dragging the tractor back. She can still do it, you just gotta be careful and just not stop, because we need to stop. She will stall. She's still spreading it well, which is the main thing. But guess what? The surprise has just turned up. It's arrived in the yard as a demo, not mine. So the first hint, I have to turn this tractor off. Second hint, Tom, our favorite delivery driver has just come. How are you doing, you right? Very well, not bought, demo. No, demo. <laughs> I'll explain the story later. Not bought, demo. You know what that thing's been like at the moment. And I think it is genuinely time, so we are genuinely having a look. This is a Case Maxim 150. We, my favourite tractor that I've had so far that I've demoed, apart from the Ollie's things, that is far too expensive for me, far too big for me, was the Case Maxim 145, boosted to 175. I loved it. First tractor I had. The Vestron was fantastic, uh, probably just a bit too dear. The Maxim was great, had all the gadgets on it. This is a 150, so a little bit more power, but it's a bit more basic inside. Very, very excited to have a little bit of a play. Um, and to be fair, we weren't looking. Dad spoke to Cornthwaite at the Garstang show. I unfortunately missed them. I went in between milking times and I missed loads of stuff. That is a cracking show as well. Go to the Garstang show if you ever going to go next year. Bit of a story. To be honest, I went to go look at it on Friday. I was a bit, oh, it's different like inside completely. And um, yeah, 
So we're gonna have a look at it and demo it. And that's why I was kind of showing you why. This is eight and a half thousand hours, 16 years old, 100 horsepower. We're doing more acreage, we're doing more. It's just the money at the moment. <laughs> Unfortunately, girl, you've been demoted. And we've been promoted. Oh, oh big mirrors. Big mirrors that you can see. No, the dream. So, we've got the Maxim 150. Like I said, Dad was at the show. We were looking at it. Our tractor's getting a bit uncomfortable at the moment. Kieran's looking at maybe swapping his John Deere as well. So, um, we're going to have it in. I'm going to swap with Kieran as well. I'm going to jump in his John Deere. He's going to have a play with it. If I was going to go for it, um, just chat to Tom, because you sell a lot of these, you were saying. Yeah. A lot of these, because like I was saying, we didn't have the CVX transit, it's like called the Pro 700, is it? Pro 900? No, this is called Active 4, this. No, but the other one that yeah, I, uh, I yeah, that, yeah. the Pro something, yeah. it was class, it was amazing, but this has mechanical spools instead of uh, electric spools. Yeah, a lot more a lot, reliable. A lot more reliable, and my dad loves some of that. So he's actually going to bob down late and have a look. Front link, hitch, I am going to get a front PTO on it if I get this tractor, but this would be the one, I think, which at this, so this was at the Westmoreland show, so I was meant to go to Westmoreland show have a look at this tractor and um, unfortunately obviously everything happened that you guys know it is very clean and i apologize to tom <laughs> i can't do anything about the rain today that tractor is just struggling very thanks tom again he's a legend we didn't get the drone shot but just said bring it here it's a proper demo you have a look so this is today's ride and uh, i told jerry not to fill it up as much of the hill and now happy jerry's happy well the first run right thanks tom Thank cheers well the first run have a bit of a play Let's see how we get on. Oh, sh Probably should be driving for a I can't believe how well it's travelling. It's like floating. Genuinely floating. So that is max revs. No engineer on the back. Peter is definitely off. Silence. Silence. Really nice. First loads. This is a big tractor. The 145 was actually four cylinder, this is a six cylinder. It's a little bit bigger, but it's heavier, that's the problem. And that doesn't like the height thing. I think weight thing, and we all don't like a little bit of weight, but we're gonna deal with it. Traveling well on these big tires. Woohoo! She's nice! She's real nice. Take my money. Take my money. Don't have it. Take the bank's money, it's not mine. Really, really well. Literally getting to the back of that midden now, which is bandabidozy. Look at that. 
So I'm just pulling these, how this feels, I'm gonna spread muck on it. I'm not into that. Can anyone just check bags, make sure nothing's trying to carve? Oh, that one's growing a bit. Come on, little ends. clay here because when we dug the parlour out we put the clay in here it's going to spread it on the land the allotments want some muck so i'm going to keep a bit of that behind we've got loads of it i'm actually running out of field i don't know where to go after this which is not good i'm going to tie that side down whilst jerry is uh, loading jerry just saying why didn't we put them panels just on the inside of there why did I put them in? I have no idea. I mean, we all know that. So I've had to stop spreading for a while. We've run out of fields, which is good because we've spread it nice and thinly. But I now want to spread in this big field, but I'm trying to get these out of it. The problem is there's always, always one at the back. I'd love to say this was nice and easy, but last two. Please, please, oh, thank you. Love you, love you. Deer is out. Double rainbow! Yeah, my skills! Let's not talk about that, but yeah, like double rainbow, it's a nice bit of uh, vegetation going in. What a beautiful night, it's been raining on and off. But every load that we do this tonight, one less do tomorrow where the rain is going to be horrific. We're going to try and muck out the side shed as well whilst we're here. We'll have them tomorrow, but tomorrow we'll do a fraction of what we do today. Still charge you for a full day, but it's like tidying tomorrow. Look at that sky! Another one bites dust, and another one bites, and another one bites, and another one bites dust. Voice of an angel. I do think I'd be better with straight from Not the end of the world. It's a bit better. That big grab, and we are done. We've got a bit to tidy up tomorrow. Kieran's going to do his spot. Kieran, how did you find the case today? I'm gonna bleep that out because no one knows about that. Good? Very good, very good. Better than a John Deere. Oh, put it in the comment section below. I wouldn't say it was my tidiest work. I should have gone an extra bay the other way. I've just been a bit stingy with this, but hey-ho, we're there, we're full. Well, we're empty, we, we were full, we're empty. And now, my man is gonna come pick the cows up. Cars been trapped in there. Today's job. I'm going to look at it. The weather's been horrific, so I'm going to see if I can travel. I'm going to try and get loads out. I'm just trying to go try and get a bit out. You think, oh, there's loads of muck there, but one load, two loads. I should have it done. Which is good. Good news. Traveling, not making that much of a mess. It's 
speed up a little bit because it's coming out a bit faster than I thought. Bit of a hill, a bit of a hill for us, I know it's not for other people, but definitely hilly. Go on, girl, go on, girl. Oh, she definitely knows about it. Knows about it, she knows about it. Pulling it on, pulling it. There we go, beautiful. Using every single pony, 180 of them under this hood, is a big tractor. That is one thing I am for sure. Traveling no bother. Look back there. Look at that. Nine twenty revs, nine forty. Woo! Woo because all the weight will be at the end of the spreader because it's going back. It's pulling a lot of weight uphill, bit damp. Last load now, and we are done. I washed the man or two off. Obviously, I've emptied that pen. Now, just gonna wash this off as well. Proper demo. So it's been here for twenty six hours in the moment it's going back tomorrow quick flash in the pan see you later to explain why we actually looking at that track that wasn't really looking but like say like say davos the gas like show blah 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 i got chatting blah blah blah, blah. looked at it flirted with the idea i loved the maxim three years ago but then i decided to do so much other stuff on the farm which i think personally was the correct thing to do we're now mowing over i think we did 400 acres mowing this year of around that kind of mark, not including the big bales and stuff we've done, so probably 450 acres. And it's just getting on a bit, you know, we need to get on, we need to get the grass mown, to tear it out, to chop it, and it's done to get slurry back out. You know, the tractors, our Hurleyman is 16 years old, eight and a half thousand hours, 100 horsepower, you know, it's not getting any younger. And you just felt it this year by doing little bits. We've been very fortunate, loan, borrow, whatever you want to call it. Um, Ollie blogs to drop his JCB off, but he sold that now. That is nothing to do with the decision I made. I don't know. Just looking at it seriously. Glass load, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna go all the way back just so the beds just really, really clean themselves out is the plan. Came through that door. Door chopper is on. Bed is empty. <laughs> That's a lot of water that just came out of there. This is the end of today's video. Unfortunately, I finished it on my phone because uh, my GoPro is in the house and I need to take the spreader back. This is getting picked up tomorrow. A big thank you to John Cornflake. He was going to pick up today. He let me have it for one extra day, so it's been here for 48 hours, just less than. And um, you can see how big it is. So, this is that's the Hurleyman. So that's the case. So it's 150 boosted to 180. The Hillman is only 100 horsepower. But it does everything on the farm. Someone came to the farm shop probably two, three weeks ago, something like that. He said he could not believe the amount we do with a 100 horsepower tractor. He was very, very impressed. She's currently in her work clothes. She's a wee bit dirty. And she's a great tractor. Fantastic. I love a Hillman. The only problem is, I don't know if we're just outgrowing it at the moment, especially on our farm being so flat and just trying to get on a little bit. So I gave that just a volume wash because I'm washing it. It's going back cleaner than it can. But then this thing, the 150 again, I'll to wash this tomorrow. Look at it. That is a beautiful, oh, that is doing things for me. That case looks ace. To get ready for winter. I like to have this empty. I like to have the slurry empty and I like to just be know that I've done as much as I can going into it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. What would you go for? Would you make the change? I would make the change if we haven't just currently done the parlor. I think that's the big thing. We'll have to stack it up, count it, see how many years we can borrow it over because um, obviously we ain't gonna be a cash buyer or something like that. See what the value for the Hillman would be in trading. But I'm very, very intrigued. Very intrigued. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I think TP Merch should be back so you can get it here. And thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you all again later. Oh god, it's like we've gone back three years, but with a little bit more, a little bit more spice. See you in a bit.